Hello and welcome to our CleverTap Quarterly. My name is Sunil Thomas and I am co-founder and CEO at CleverTap. In case this is your first time, this event brings together CleverTap customers along with leading industry experts to share their knowledge and best practices in helping all of us drive user retention and growth. For this event, we've picked growth marketers from India, from the US, from Latin America and the Middle East to share in some of their successes. Welcome once again, and I hope this is a learning experience for all of you. Whether we like it or not, change is our collective default state today. Global events, the pandemic, the new requirements for a commitment to diversity at work, and now the reopening of, our, of businesses in the US and across the world, these are all big things and we have to deal with it. Change has definitely altered the market landscape. It has massively accelerated digital transformation and also accelerated our user's path from consideration to conversion. Change has affected a whole bunch of app categories. For example, e-commerce has grown the equivalent of four years in a short time frame of four months. App Annie reports, the app downloads for fintech apps outpaces the app downloads for all other categories put together by a factor of two. Time spent in apps across multiple sectors has gone up by 45% over the last year. Gaming apps has shown a lot of interest and interaction. To compound matters, awareness and importance of user privacy and user security is at an all-time high and rightfully so. The recent IDFA deprecation brings out a whole new deck of cards for performance marketers that we need to deal with. If anything, this will bring about a sharper focus on how best we can manage and drive our customer journeys using first party data that we have with consent. In other words, all of this change is forcing us performance and growth marketers to rewrite our retention playbooks. To help in some small ways, I recently authored a Rethink FinTech Playbook 2021. This is a 68 page resource that draws upon exclusive experiences of more than 15 global financial institutions or FinTech companies. There's a lot of best practices and real examples around how these companies have adapted their customer lifecycle management journeys for today's world. I will follow up with similar playbooks for e-commerce and for the gaming industries. And overall, uh, CleverTap as a company is committed to giving you resources that you need across verticals and across this journey that is, that is dynamic and that is changing all the time uh, to manage your users better and to drive user attention better and eventually to drive growth a lot because of that. Needless to say, we are going through a lot of change at CleverTap too. We are seeing a significant increase in the speed of your inputs, in your requirements, in the number of things you demand from us. And we have been in the process of scaling ourselves up to meet those demands. We've started by scaling our product and engineering teams significantly. We've grown three times the size of these teams over the last three quarters and are still growing. This scale is critical to us as a product company and a key way in which we will continue to innovate and bring you value day after day. As usual, we have some core focus areas. Data integrations and the ability to bring in more data into CleverTap is one of them. More data means more relevancy. More data means better context. And more data really means better probability or an increased probability towards better user engagement. We are not just looking at user behavior data, but we're looking at catalog data, you know, list of products, list of restaurants, and things like that that can be used in recommendations via automated campaigns to provide a level of context that is, that is unmatched out there. We are also looking to integrate better two-way tighter with a lot of our data partners. And you will see some of these things at the event today. Simplicity of use, and intuitiveness is a second area of focus. We've been blessed with growth, and that means a lot of new users coming into our 
platform, our dashboard on a daily basis. Getting our users productive and completing their tasks on time, we just need to be better at that. We just have a lot of improvement there. We made the first steps with our campaigns and journeys. That is a part of the product that almost all of you use, and you'll see the exciting changes coming there at this event. We are also improving our online documentation and training modules. Upskill, that is a portion within the dashboard, you know, has launched with, a, with the first set of training videos. There's a lot more to come, but go look at them and give us all your feedback so that we can get better at everything we do. AI and automation is the third big pillar for us at CleverTap. When done well, this tremendously scales personalization. This increases the relevance of your messaging and of your experiences to your users. When done well, this significantly reduces manual effort and also takes real advantage of all your data towards increasing relevancy. When done well, this accelerates your experimentation cycle. You can just carry out a lot more tests and iterations in a shorter period of time to get your users into better places than they currently are in. You will see some significant improvements with A-B testing in journeys, with recommendations, and a lot more You know, very, very soon at this event a little bit. NetNet, as a company, CleverTap will always strive to make your day more impactful and give you the ability to effectively drive better business results with lesser and lesser manual effort over time. We have a long way to go, and we know that, but we are committed to working towards this goal day after day. So welcome once again to the CleverTap Quarterly. It is my pleasure to invite you to an event where you will hopefully learn a lot. You know, this is an event that's filled with practical advice and tips and tricks that hopefully you can use in your business starting today. And with that, it is also my pleasure to hand over this stage to Andy Carwell, Andy's partner and co-founder of Feature and a renowned retention specialist. Many of you are considering or pursuing a subscription model and no wonder, I mean, it's a great model with the benefits of bringing recurring revenue to your business. It's not enough to just launch it. To be successful, you need some framework to develop messaging and, and pricing that is personalized and relevant to the world today. I bring on Andy, who's going to bring to the table a new thinking, He'll reveal new thinking around how you can turn interested users into loyal subscribers in this new world of the subscription economy. Welcome, Andy, to the stage. Over to you.